Hello, we are the Pedigree Technologies team and our project Vehicle Failure Predictions Using Machine Learning aims to help predict vehicle failures. Our sponsor for this project was Josh Tukak. Our mentors were Will Sudson and Joe Johnson. Pedigree Technology offers several product features, including a set vehicle tracking, fleet management, and mobile equipment management, among other features, to aid business vehicle needs. For this project, our Pedigree's sponsor needs were a prioritized list of diagnostic trouble codes, known as DTCs, by severity, or a list of DTCs that are meaningful. This could create an opportunity for proactive maintenance to prevent larger failures. Uh, two, to use machine learning among with other large existing database of vehicle DTCs and driving fail inspection reports on these vehicles to predict likely vehicle failures. Using machine learning predict likely vehicle failures based upon DTCs or a combination of DTCs or highest risk severity DTCs for vehicle failures. The driving business factors for this project include proactive maintenance, reducing operating costs, prevent large failures from occurring, and gain insight into vehicle performance. For implementation, Diagnostic Trouble Code, or DTC reports, are joined with the first failure for that specific vehicle. Then, vehicles without any failures are removed. This input data is split into a training set and a testing set. The training set is used to train the random forest classifier until the error is minimized. The testing set is used for validation as well as the creation of classification reports. The importance of each input feature is shown in the image. We have also created a prioritized list of DTCs that have the most impacts on each failure type. Finally, the model and documentation were delivered to Pedigree. Our project uses three files in order to function. The first file is used to clean and prepare the data. The second file builds, trains, and saves the model. The final file loads the created model and uses it to create a classification report. This is just an example use, and it can easily be set up to take in input features to predict a single output. This is the classification report used to evaluate the model. We aren't running the process right now since it takes a few minutes to run. The model was tested with 30,000 samples it has never seen before. As you can see, the model has an overall accuracy of around 57% for predicting the correct failure type. The accuracy of each individual error type can vary based on factors such as the number of samples used to train or the strength of the correlation between the diagnostic codes to the failure types.